With security tensions high in the Gulf province because of positive coronavirus in Western province and Indonesia, the province is looking at tightening up its borders. In supporting the provincial government, Kikori District Development Authority, led by Chairman and MP Sori Ioe, will visit hospitals and clinics and travel along the Gulf Western border to do awareness. Sites to visit include Bell Point, Guari on the coast, further up the Tumara River to Faya, and then back to East Kikori into Bai. So we go right to the Western Gulf border. Also give uh, you know support and encouragement to our officers there, particularly police and health officers will be there. And then come eastward, talking to you know, health facilities, talking to villages, um, and joining them in uh, giving them you know confidence. But the important thing is to tell, uh, telling them to observe the instructions being given by our health uh, officers. Kikori District is bordered by three highlands provinces to the north, but the greatest risk of COVID-19 penetrating the district is through trading activities taking place between the Gulf and Western provinces. These include a trade of bitter nut, drugs, firearms and illegal fishing. Given this uh, seriousness of uh, COVID-19 um, disease now affecting us, this has become somewhat uh, concern, concern for our country, our government. Uh, that's the reason why we need to uh, we need to protect our borders, and I thank the national government for putting army and uh, police. Given the concern on limited funding and PPE, the Kikori MP has committed 1.7 million kina, which will be distributed equally in the district. The following are the budget breakdown and plans for the COVID-19 awareness and response activities. More than 200,000 kina will be spent on LRG COVID-19 awareness at border hotspots in Kikori, more than 200,000 kina on PPE, strengthening of EU, Orokolo, Paimuru, Karate and Fire Health Facilities, 100,000 kina funding support for Kikori isolation and the quarantine center, 50,000 kina funding for border surveillance and security, and 200,000 kina funding support for the flood-affected areas. Michelle Steven, National MTV News.